Hello everybody, this is Kim with another edition of the Brewskits blog. Today we wanted to talk about heat stroke in dogs. Uh, a couple things for FYI, on a normal 85 degree day, which is what it is right here about now in Pennsylvania, if you left your dog in the vehicle, in just 10 minutes that temperature can rise to 102 degrees. In 30 minutes, that temperature can rise to 120 degrees. So never, ever, ever leave your dog in a car, especially you know, even with the air conditioning on or anything like that. If you should see a dog in a vehicle, use your own judgment. If you feel necessary that you need to call the police, call the police. Um, you know, do what you have to do to make sure that dog is protected. Not only vehicles are an issue with heat stroke in dogs, but there are other things such as poor ventilation, high humidity, high temperature, limited access to fresh water, um, thick hair, excessive exercise, all of these things can lead to uh, heat stroke in your dog. The dog's normal temperature is 100 to 102.5 degrees. Heat stroke in a dog occurs at 104 to 109 degrees. If you think your dog has heat stroke, some of the signs and symptoms might be um, a fat, bright tongue, it could actually turn purple, their gums turn really pink, um, heavy panting, drooling, staggering, vomiting, any of these things are signs that your dog could be experiencing heat stroke. Dogs don't sweat the same way that, that humans do, where we sweat all over ourselves, even like on the tops of your hands, if you're really working out, you'll see it. Dogs only sweat through their nose and the pads of their feet. Those are the only two places they have sweat glands. Tiki's apparently tired, he's gonna lay down for this set. Um, if you suspect heat stroke in your dog, use a cool wet towel, just wrap it right around them and blanket it in them, um, and head to the vet if you really see severe signs and symptoms. Um, if your dog wants to drink, let it drink, but don't force it to drink. Cool water, not really cold water, no ice, but do let it drink if it shows signs that it wants to drink. Don't submerge your dog in water. The water actually causes too quickly of a cooling and it can send your dog into shock. The vet may use different techniques to try to reduce the temperature in your dog. Um, they may put rubbing alcohol in the dog's armpits, on the, the pads of the feet, in the ears, um, and they may even submit or uh, they may even administer a cooling IV, which actually circulates through the dog's body and cools them down quickly, but you know, appropriately. Um, there's a couple accessories out in the marketplace right now. There's cooling bandanas, cooling blankets, cooling beds, cooling jackets. All different kinds of things that you can actually use if you know you're going to be out in a situation where your dog may be exposed to too much sunlight or too much heat. Um, as always, use common sense, use your judgment. If it's too hot for you, it's probably too hot for your dog. This is Kim with your helpful hint from Brewskits.